Hello, it's me, Azolai. Today we're talking about the Designated Marksman Rifle, or for short, DMR. <laughs> Definitely one of my favorite Halo weapons, so I want to discuss some things about it. Because I believe that DMR, our king of rifles, our long-range precision beast, needs some changes. Changes dealing with stats and aesthetics for Halo Infinite. Now this is not going to be an in-depth review of the DMR, because we've already done multiple analysis videos on that. They go into the fine details and they're already up on YouTube. Instead, I like to focus on some changes I like to see from our current DMR to the one in Halo Infinite. So let's go over some stats and discuss them. In terms of hip fire red reticle range, the DMR sits at 45.72 meters. And for smart link, the red reticle range increases to 128.01 meters. So as discussed many times before, these are the effective ranges, giving you extra reticle and bullet magnetism. In other words, increased aim assist is active and landing shots is easier. Now for Halo Infinite, I don't believe the DMR needs its red reticle ranges changed drastically, given that this weapon is meant to function as a long range precision rifle and excel at long range combat, I think these red reticle ranges are fine. In fact, I think these ranges should be greater compared to the competition, and I'm talking about the Magnum, Light Rifle, BR, and Carbine. And when we do compare RRRs side by side, we see that the DMR consistently comes out on top and that's good. In my opinion, it should be that way. Now some might say, oh well that just makes the gun OP compared to the other weapons, especially in terms of aim assist, and I'll say, nah, no it doesn't. There is a balance, and that balance balance comes from another stat we have to look at, which is time to kill. TTK, we're gonna hear that about a million times again, so let's go over it. The DMR's headshot bonus TTK is 1.5 seconds, so 4 shots to break the shield and 1 headshot to get the kill. And for body shots, the TTK is 1.8 seconds, again 4 to break the shield, plus 2 body shots to get the kill. Now stop, I want you guys to look at this TTK. The DMR's optimal kill time is the longest out of every other precision weapon in Halo 5. So Light Rifle, Magnum, Carbine, and BR all have faster kill times. So despite the fact that the DMR has greater red reticle ranges as we just saw, it does not mean that the weapon is overpowered compared to the competition. In fact, it is a mix of RRRs and TTKs that balances out the other weapons and the DMR within the sandbox. In other words, lower red reticle ranges and faster TTKs versus longer red reticle ranges but slower TTKs. This way the medium range weapons such as the Magnum and Carbine have an advantage at medium ranges and the DMR gets an advantage at longer ranges. Thus at those distant gunfights the DMR is still able to maintain its consistency over the other weapons and allows you to hit that 1.5 second TTK more consistently. Personally I believe 343 nailed this weapon balance perfectly. Maybe a slight readjustment for weapon ranges will be needed because of map design in Halo Infinite but overall Halo 5 concept is solid in my opinion, so hopefully Halo Infinite follows a similar route with respect to the weapon sandbox. And speaking of weapon sandbox and balance, there is one giant ass elephant in the room I have to address. Ah, it's a giraffe! Man, good old bullet magnetism. So I'm going to refrain from ranting about it for this video, but most of you already know I hate high bullet magnetism. But unfortunately, like every other weapon in Halo 5, the DMR has some insane bullet magnetism. I mean seriously, look at this. The reticle is literally like 99% off the target, yet this counts as shot registration. How? How does this make any sense? And how the hell can anyone look at this and say, oh, this is fine, no problem here. Now you guys gotta understand, I'm not completely against bullet magnetism because I understand, you need some of it. Not everything can be a pinpoint accuracy sweat fest and some of it is needed for smoother gunplay. Pretty much all FPS games use bullet magnetism to some degree. But, god damn, if your radical aim is this garbage, this, this freaking shit right here, then no, you should not be rewarded with hit registration. Get that shit out of here, get it the fuck out. Christ almighty, how the fuck? Alright, I'm gonna calm down. I promise I wasn't gonna rant, so hello, it's me, Azola again. Let's continue with the video. Anyway, all I'm gonna say is hopefully Halo Infinite's DMR has less bullet magnetism, and the entire weapon sandbox has less of it in general. Good god, please decrease the shit. Anyway, that's all I wanted to discuss for the weapon stats, so now let's talk aesthetics, the design of the DMR. And I'll be honest, man, I'm not a fan of how the DMR looks in Halo 5. Primary issues, the damn scope is weird. It's way too close to the player's face and the position of the weapon model just looks awkward. Literally, I suffer from iridocyclitis when I look at this DMR. Iridocyclitis. Oh, 
Now the weapon frame. Yeah, I can't say it's bad. I actually think it's decent. Kind of an improved version of the Halo 4 frame, but overall, still not really sold on the design. Personally, I think 343 needs to go back to the Halo Reach design. In my opinion, it just looks better. But if they don't want to and they really love this Halo 5 DMR design and they believe it should be the final form, then I'm fine with that. Just please, for the love of Halo, change the damn scope on this weapon. Like redesign it or design a completely new scope that just looks better and also has an ammo counter like in the previous games god just look at that scope i mean every time i look at this thing oh man this this is literally me oh and by the way, if you have an idea, 343, of replacing this with the Sentinel scope, I mean, I'll admit, this thing does look pretty cool, but it is designed way too big and should have been way smaller in Halo 5. Just another scope that makes my eyes suffer. Anyway, that's about it for the DMR. Again, I believe this weapon is solid as it is and only needs a few changes. But whether those changes will happen, who knows? And whether the DMR will even be in Halo Infinite, well, we don't know yet. But hopefully, by the grace of the Halo gods, this badass returns and looks sexier and dominates more than ever before. Alright, that's it for this one. So as always, thank you for watching and until next time. So tell me you got around now, but you got